Hey there guys and welcome to lesson number four. You are one lesson away from launching your website and brand to the world. But before we can launch your website, we need to go through a few finishing touches to get your site ready for launch. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step some different things to do in order to get your website ready for launch. And I'll also share a few resource links below that you can also use to prep your site. So to get started, let's go over to pages. From there, scroll down to your homepage and click this gear icon right here. What we're going to do now is update your page title. So updating your page title is gonna help your site get found in search engines. It's gonna be a way for people to understand and for you to describe who you are. So instead of staying home here, let's use something to describe what your site is all about. So for MADT camps, that's a camp retreat in the Colorado Rockies. So go ahead and click save and I'll show you how this comes into play later. Now that you have that updated, let's go back and let's go into marketing. From there, click SEO. So right now, your SEO is pulling in your site title, but we also wanna add a meta description. So if someone is searching for a business similar to yours, they'll get a little snippet, a preview into what your site's all about. So I'm going to grab this description right here to include for my meta description, but you can also enter in something else here in here if you prefer. So you'll see now this is how it will appear if someone is searching for your website. Go ahead and click save. And now let's go over to advanced. So now we'll get into your homepage title format. So right now you'll see that the homepage title format is just pulling in your site title. We also want to add that page title that we just updated before. So let's grab this page title format down here and rearrange these items a little bit and I'll show you how this works. So go ahead and click save. And now click refresh. And now you'll see when you hover over here, it also pulled in that page title. And that's exactly what we want for search engines. Next, we'll head back here. And we'll go into your settings. So the first thing we want to look at updating is your business information. And this is especially important if you have a physical location. So if you have an actual address for your business, you want to enter in that information here, like your phone number, your email, your location, and this is just helpful for search engines to find you easier. So go ahead and update that information. You can add business hours if you'd like. This isn't necessary, but go ahead and fill in this information and click save and go back. Next, we want to update your connected accounts. So if you remember in a previous lesson, we added these social icons here. What we want to do now is connect your social icons so that if someone comes to your site, they can look at these and go to your profile pages. So to do that, let's go into Connected Accounts and click Connect Account. Let's get started with Facebook. So it'll ask you a few questions here. So click Continue. Click Continue as your Facebook page. And now it's asking what pages do you want to use with Squarespace. So you might have multiple business pages um, that you're managing. But right now, I just want to focus on one and that's my Tyler Zipper Facebook account. So click that one, click next, and now turn both of these on and click done. Click OK. So now it'll pull in your profile URL here, but just make sure to check this because sometimes it pulls in your personal profile and you actually want your business profile. So yeah, it did that. So what we want to do here is go to your business page, grab that URL, and update it here. And next, we wanna update this push target. So say you wanna share content from your website, we wanna say, where do you wanna push this content to? So pick that page so that it gets shared to that page, and then click Save. Next, let's connect our Instagram account. So if you're already signed into your Instagram, it'll automatically connect it for you, but if not, go ahead and connect it, and then click Save. Next, we want to add an email account. So let's set up that email account that we set up in a different lesson here and add that account. 
And this will just be another way for someone to directly get in contact with you via email. So now you'll see here that these icons are showing and that they link to your specific profiles. Once you get your accounts connected, let's go back and go into domains. So this is where we set up our domains before. One thing we want to update before launch is the built-in domain. So you can see right here, we have this funky name and this is what's showing right here. We want to make this similar for search engines to easily recognize your site a little bit better. So just update this to whatever your website URL is. And click rename. And now you'll see that that URL for Squarespace updated. So next, we'll go back into settings and we'll go down to cookies and visitor data. So this is where you would enable a cookie banner and this is really dependent on where your business is located, but it's usually a best practice, a general best practice to enable this so that people know that you're collecting their data for the best use of your website. So you can update some things here and choose the styling of how this appears on your site. So go ahead, update that to the way that makes sense for you. And then one more thing is we want to disable the Squarespace analytics cookies here until they clicked OK. Now we can click Save there and go back into our settings and go into Advance. The last thing we want to update here is our SSL. So this is just saying you know your site is secure. You want people who land on your site to know that your site is secure so that you're not doing anything suspicious with their data. So make sure that this is checked and the next thing you want to check is this HSTS secure as well. Go ahead and click save and that should just about do it. Make sure to check those other resources I shared with you to walk through each thing to get your site ready for launch. We're almost there. We're right there. We're one more lesson away, so head on over to that lesson. It's a super short lesson to set your site live and to share it with the world. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.